Popple Writer here with Patricia Wolf at the Lake Mary School in Paola, Kansas. As you can see, we are in a rather interesting type of classroom, and so I would love for you, Patricia, to tell us a little bit about why your classroom is different and some of the opportunities that Lake Mary provides. Yes, I am very fortunate to get to work in a barn and an outdoor garden and animal therapy center. So basically my classroom is this section of the outdoors. We have about two acres and we have animals and gardens and the students get to learn where food comes from on a, in a very hands-on way. So it's not only fun for them, but it's educational, but the, we get to be outside almost the whole time. Well, Lake Mary offers some different types of services compared to a traditional public school. Tell us about that. Lake Mary Center is um, a psychiatric residential treatment facility. And so our school, K through 12 grades, is within that. So some of our students live here for a time before going back to their regular schools. And some students ride the bus every day and then go back to their homes at night. So we have about 110 students and it is strictly 100% special ed facility. Well, and sometimes special ed students need or have they, they learn in different ways, right? I mean, even yes. you and I learn in different ways. And so when they're here, they're getting this very hands-on, real life experience. And so talk us through some of the activities you do on a daily basis with your students. Okay, yes, we do have a smaller class size than most schools, about 10 students for each class maximum. And they get to come out here and get very individualized um, skill training and they get to plant uh, each each class has a raised bed that they take care of and grow vegetables and we have fruit trees we have flower gardens then we have our animals and each class gets to take turns feeding the animals caring for them grooming them and so that in itself piques their interest and they become very excited about getting to be outside anyway but as like you said you and I and most people learn with hands-on activities better than just sitting at a desk so this provides the perfect opportunity for that so can we talk a minute just about the carrot story? Because I love the carrot story. And, you know, it's, it's not specific to this school, really. Like, this is something that we would see even in some of, you know, the schools in my area as well. But I do love that story. We have one of our students, and I found out that they, they were getting most of their groceries from a convenience store, not even a big grocery store like we're used to. And so um, this student was pretty excited to grow the carrots and waited all summer to pull one out of the ground. And when we did pull that orange part out of the ground, he said, wait, this is almost looks like a real carrot. And then when we washed it off and cut it up, and right then and there we were going to eat it, he looked at me a little skeptically, and he said, are you sure this is safe to eat? Because he had just never been exposed to produce um, that was directly from a garden. It was a, an aha moment. Well, I think that's super cool. Well, again, we're here with Patricia Wolf, who is a teacher at Lake Mary School in Paola, Kansas. Stay tuned for more.